Now, there's a significant difference between agents and trustees. Agent accounts differ from trust in that the title to the assets in the agency does not pass to the trustee, but remains in the name of the owner of the property, who is referred to as the principal. Acting like an agent is not being an agent if you are also a trustee. You have to remember that. There is no beneficiary in an agency, but only the principal and the agent. A key difference between a trust and an agency account is that there is no legal transfer of title in an agency account. They're just holding information. They are managing the information. So the trustee is mainly managing information and um, the agent is uh, not acting as a trustee. So in an agency, an agency relationship can be created without vesting any property in the agent. Um, also, the agent himself does not have to be to be a party to the contracts and is also not the principal. So not a difference between uh, the trustee and the agent is so with a trustee, a trust only exists if it holds property. Right. And a trust is always a result of a contract with a grantor. In addition, a trustee who makes a contract in the administration of the trust contracts as if he is the principal. If the trustee dies though, the trust is not terminated. Instead, a new trustee is appointed. Now, there are some common uses for agency funds. So we have two common uses here. The collection of taxes to special service, um, special services within a government agency, as well as a tax agency fund. And I think the, the most noted tax agency funds that we're, uh, we're accustomed to are sales taxes. So again, the sales taxes are collected by the state government. And then that, that is proportioned or, or apportioned throughout the state for whatever type of uses that they have. It is important to note the uh, equation for an agency fund. You must remember that within an agency fund, there are no revenues, there are no expenses, or there, there isn't a net position. So with that, the total assets um, accumulated within this agency equals the total amount of debt owed or the liability. Now, the agency assets and liabilities will be included in the statement of fiduciary net position. So, although we talked about net position before. And again, we're just reiterating that there are no revenue or expenses. Um, instead, there are assets equal, equaling total liabilities.